Hi and welcome to another episode of Fishing Western Australia. Today, among other things, we're right here in Denmark, but there's plenty more besides. Let's have a look at what's coming up. Today, we're in Point Sampson, home of some of the nastiest fish in the ocean. Oh, my, look at those lips. We also visit beautiful Denmark and show you everything you need to know to catch herring while you're on holidays. There you go. South Coast herring. It's become a ritual for Marshy and myself each winter to head to sunny Point Sampson and stay with Rick and Helen McGregor. They not only run the beautiful Point Sampson Lodge, but Rick runs an awesome charter from his custom-built boat, the Phantom. Last year the fishing was so hot, this time we thought we'd bring the heavy gear in search of the famous Point Sampson mackerel. How you going fellas? Excellent. This year we thought we'd bring the big gear. You're going For to sure. <laughs> All right, let's get into some big mackerel. There you go, Ed. Point Sampson's in the Pilbara region of Western Australia, which is famous worldwide for big, nasty fish. Rick has spent years searching the waters of his hometown and has dozens of marks for all sorts of different fish. A few bites, mate. Yeah. As usual, as soon as the anchor hit the bottom, the fish hit the lures and it was on. Oh, I just thought I'd put the bait caster out. Yeah, I was getting the uh, big gear out for the Mackies, mate. You've already started off. What is that? I don't know. Trevally? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, it's not. It's, it's a, a mangrove, mangrove jack. jack. You are kidding. <laughs> That's unbelievable. On the old trusty white jig, too. There you go. Out here, and we're about 10 miles off the coast of Point Sampson. <laughs> Mangrove Jack. I'm speechless. Oh. <laughs> I was going to show you, but it went out the hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mushy. Are you on? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're on something substantial then. Yeah, big talk. Yeah, just. Settle in and relax. Good thing about the bait cast, it's nice and flexible. Oh, hello. That's got a bit of a mackerel feel to it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. That's it, mate. Come on. Oh, I turned his head. There he is, I can see him. He's a good fish, too. Here he comes. Doesn't look like a mackerel. I say it's a t t t t Trevally. The last time I come here, I got a big Trevally. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. You know I like him that much. He's a beauty. I'll get the old scat net ready, mate. You're standing on it. Get that one. Come on, help me land your fish. You're going to cooperate. What is a scat net? It's a scat net. It's a net with its own scales built in. Ah. So we can see just how big your t t t Valley is. That's a good idea. I know it's got my hand on my rod here because I don't want it to snap. Okay. Oh, that's a big one too. Oh, I can't get him in the net. I got him. Woohoo! Have a look at that. Oh, nice nice gold <laughs> now. We'll use this fabulous little net. It's oh, Marshy, I can tell you without too much fear, he's about. Seven and a half kilos. Far out. Isn't that great? You don't even have to touch the fish, you know how big they are. Oh, right. <laughs> That's huge. Cool, mate. Look yeah. at those lips. And they <laughs> use those lips just like a vacuum cleaner. They go through the bottom and they use them to actually sense, no, no, keep them under control, I haven't finished yet, to actually <laughs> sense what sort of foods are around with electric impulses. Pop him back, I think. Okay. Oh. There you go. See you later. Oh, they don't care how they swim back. <laughs> yep. Yep. Now, what I'm trying to do here is, while we're fishing for the mackerel, 
I've just got a little soft plastic just to catch some little fish. And I'm just gonna not really fight it. I don't even want to land it really. I just want to mess about with it and get a bit of action in the water, you know, a bit of live bait action. So I'm not even gonna land this fish. I'm just gonna drop it back and forth and let it kick around. Just see if we can get the mackerel in a feeding mood. Oh yeah, Marshy. I think you found the first mackerel. Um, what does it feel like to get spooled? Nah. <laughs> You're not gonna take my line. I think I might get my soft plastic out of the water now if the backies have turned up. Wow, here yeah, that's trying. Get back into it. <laughs> it's going down a fair way. One more line disappears off the marshy reel. I love fishing with these light rods. They're pretty good until you get something like this on. Well, have a look at that. Have a look at that. Hey there, <laughs> sharky boy. <laughs> He's not a bad one. He's a good one. He's not a bad shark. The question is, what are you going to do with it? Cut it off. Are you going to cut it off, are you? Go on. Go on. Put your hand there. There you go. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'll hold the rod. You can play with sharky boy. Sharky boy. Oh, well. <laughs> so much for that plan. Yeah. <laughs> Another rig, then. Another rig. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Stay right there because up next it's mackerel mayhem. Point him away from the camera, man. Because you don't want to get bitten, do you, Josie? It took a while for the mackerel to turn up, but when they did, well, this is Point Samson. Oh, yeah! This feels like it's got some weight. Oh, you got him now. Well, I'm on two. Oh, so am I. Oh, it's all happening. It's all happening. Mm, you can stop anytime soon. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the way up to. Oh, I think that's a mackerel. Yeah, um, you can stop anytime you like. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. I had a whack on the fly. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Now we've got some weight. Boy, that's got some weight. Oh, no. Look at that weight out there. The line. Oh, yes. I didn't even be ready for that. <laughs> He's going for the marker, boy. Have to go forward. Oh, got me. Got me on the marker, boy. Oh, guess what? He's gone. Thank you, Wade. Okay, so he hadn't actually managed to land a mackerel yet. That just made me all the more determined to land the next one. This one's going too. Okay. This one's about to go too, Marshy. Is it? As soon as it's pulled up, mackerel are plenty. And he doesn't know he's going to get this one, Marshy. He's going to light up in a minute, I think. But the hooks have been very hard to set in these fish today because they've been very fussy. So in a minute, Gonna let him know who's the boss. And it's me, Max Oh, there you go. Right. Now I've satisfied his hook. Come on, come out from under there. Mac will tend to do circles, so don't really panic about it. This is a strong fish. The big try to haul him up to the surface. The beautiful. See, he's decided not to use the energy on the run, but to try and hurt me. Ah, see, you gave me a bit of line there, didn't you? Definitely a Spaniard, and it's coming up. I don't like to stay down too long. Oh, there's a nice bit of mess there. Oh, oh. there's only a little hook in him. He's down there, little one. <laughs> oh, there's only a little tiny hook in him. What do you reckon, mate? Well. We, uh, Try and drag him on board. All right, mate. Gently. Gotcha. You see? Now that didn't hurt a bit, did it? Ha <laughs> ha. Now have a look how I've got him. Just in the stomach. Just here. They've been so tentative today. Well, it's been pretty good, though. Yeah. They won't take it in the mouth. We've lost so many because 
It's tentative mackerel day. <laughs> Just point him away from the camera, man. Because you don't want to get bitten, do you, Jonesy? No. <laughs> <laughs> a Point Samson Spaniard here on the Phantom. Point Samson Charters. No wonder they're famous for Mackies. See ya, mate. Well, at least I had one mackerel on the deck, but still none for Marshy, and he was looking a little bit frustrated. But, as usual, he managed to hook the big fish right at the last minute. Get the hooks into him, mate. Get the hooks into him. He's got that. Ooh. Oh. I think the one you've got had a go at me. I hope you have more luck. Good oh. luck, mate. Now, don't email us about the camera work. Yes. It's a very bright sunset. I can smell the retinas burning off the back of my eyeballs. I can't even see anything. I'm just getting tanned. There was no way he was going off. <laughs> Still no colour. Ooh. Hello, He's got some weight. He's got some weight. Oh, well, they're not bad sport fishing now and again. Oh, you think so? Like Look that. at that. That is magnificent. <laughs> now, at this point, you call for the skipper. skipper. You can come get us off. Go on, let's show us your shark removal skills. All right, mate, come on. Oh, yeah, come on. Ah, look at them teeth and everything. Oh, he's doing a bit of thrashing. I, I, I'm not really a shark, I'm just a thrasher. <laughs> <laughs> I just like thrashing, that's all. There he is. All right. Oh, yeah, a bit of thrashing. Nice one. Come on. Who wants to put their fingers in the mouth? Rick, Eddie, got he's uh, got all of them in there. Actually, no, he's got only And the clip's two. come undone. Have a look at that. Good quality clip you got there, mate. It's come undone, but it's still held. Oh, he's looking at you with that he's one good Look eye. at that, look. Oh, I'm just, I'm just going to have a bit of a thrash. Go on, have a thrash. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> cool, You're look a brave at that. man, Rick. I've seen a thing on telly where they just touch their nose and they're all calm. That's it, mate. Go on. Off you. Oh, he's coming back. See ya. One of the great parts of my job is travelling to places I've never seen before. Denmark is only 50 kilometres from Albany, but so many people drive straight past it. The first time I laid eyes on Flat Rock, I was glad Harry made me turn left off the highway. Well, what sort of fishing spots this in Denmark, right in front of the local fishing club? They call this flat rock. It's actually a bit slopey, but Harry, I reckon if you can catch something here, mate. Mate, uh, yes, I even think I can catch something. The amount of stick you've been giving me today, <laughs> he has I've been very much all day. <laughs> this is the spot. There's herring here. There's tarwine. There's skippy. Very simple rig too. I've got a whole lot of running bean sinkers here. I've started with three because it's a bit swelly. I can add them or remove them. Stopped with a little swivel down to a long shank whiting hook for the whiting on the bottom and then a dropper loop with my wide gap hook you can see it's swinging around in there and that's for the skippy and the tar one on a dropper just above the sand and i tell you what mate let's have a fish see if we can't we pull are. some All right. the key to fishing off rocks is burley so i put harry in charge of throwing burley pellets in front of where we we're fishing now here's a little something for you to consider i'm actually using fire line this braided line it's low stretch, and that means I can feel all the bites, and you can probably hear the wind hitting my microphone. And the bait, pieces of muley, just chopped up into little strips and put through your hook. Make sure the point's always pushed out so the fish can get it through them, like that. One on the top, the other one on the bottom. How easy is that? Now, a lot of people I watch fishing for the first time struggle with their casting. It's quite simple if you do a few little things that are quite easy. The first thing is hold the rod up like that and take your finger up like a trigger with the bail arm roller nice and close to the top of the rod, just like that. And then you open it up and you can see then your bait can't fall down. Then we go back, keep the rod nice and straight behind your shoulder and then just flick like that. You don't have to throw it hard and release it about there. Simple as that. Oh, there's a the first fish for the day. Oh, and actually, Harry, it's not too bad, you know. Is that? Giving a little bit of a right, performance here. Yeah. He said. I think it's a herring. 
Oh, herring. Oh, this is going to be good. Herring in... Oh, no. It's just... It's oh, just no, completely it. by the way. <laughs> Here we oh, go. There he goes. <laughs> we might well, just... Liana, you lost it, mate. Oh, that could have been... That's all right. I got myself back, though. <laughs> 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 what happened there? Clown. I think I've got something here, mate. I don't know. It could be... Oh, be tough. This is look like... Oh, would you like the oh. net? Hang on. i got a flying yeah. gap. I'll just land That's it for you. That's the catch of the day so far, mate. Oh, have a look at this. <laughs> have a look. Now, I knew there was some whiting here, but I didn't expect they were going to be that big. That is just awesome. Look at that. I mean, seriously, dude, another 400 of them, another and you can eat tonight. <laughs> yeah, might just have a feed. <laughs> A lot of people ask me what the best part of the muley to use is when you're using it for bait. Now, I like the little tail section. And you can see I've trimmed the tail off with a pair of scissors, which are handy to keep with you. And we just thread it through like that. It's a nice fleshy piece, and the herring will love that. I'm getting bites here. Oh, yes, there you go. There's a fish straight away. In that clean water, that's where you want to be. I really think this is a herring. It is too. He's got some friends following, so there's going to be plenty down there. Now, can I get it up without going in? I'm stopping at the dry water mark, and here it comes. Ah, ah, ah. That was a Denmark herring. I'm sure I'll get one up in a minute for you to see, but it's just not going at all well. Now there's no trick to this. You can do it too if you follow some simple instructions. That surge around there is going to be washing a lot of bait and a lot of burley that the fish are going to eat off the rocks. That's going to surge back out into the clean water. That's where the herring are going to be. So all we do is we cast out into the wind, which is getting up a bit, right out into that clean water and just let it sink. Be ready. Get down nice and low. Keep your finger on the line. Feel the bites. Keep it moving a little bit. And there you go. See? straight away. It's really not that hard. The hard bit is actually getting them up the rocks. Now don't go past this black stuff here. Anything wet should be avoided. Oh, this one's in the weed too, so don't make it too easy for me, herring. All right, success, finally. There you go, that's a herring. And they're great eating fish too, herring. You have to love them. Really spiky. You can see he's grabbed that hook in the corner. It's a long shank, comes right out. And there you go. South Coast Herring. Such a pretty little fish, but uh, he's a bit small, we'll chuck him back. Well, Steve, it looks Harry, like the first Harry. one here, mate. Well done, oh, mate. Yes. A herring, see? Oh, see, even I can do it. Follow instructions, it's as simple as that. Happens. Even Harry can do it. Now, while he runs the fishing WA office very well, he doesn't fish all that well usually, but today, well. <laughs> beautiful herring, mate. Well done. Whoa! <laughs> Big herring. Don't you love the way they take that? That's a nice one. Oh, he's tangled that rig up. What a mess. Easy way to take herring off. You can touch them, it's no problem if you haven't done it before. Get them just like that. See how I've got him around the gills? Hook comes straight out. You've got my line and everything. That's easy, see? No problem. I'll pop him straight back. Bye. You'll certainly want to catch next week's show because we've got some mind-blowing Perth Taylor action. Have a look at that. Look at that teeth. We'll also catch Mulloway on lures as we travel to Albany with Kurt Blanksby. You wouldn't believe it. Well, isn't Denmark beautiful? I really hope you've enjoyed today's show because I really enjoyed making it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Fishing Western Australia.